Now for this demonstration, what we're going to do is we're going to create a sample Fortran project from start to finish. You'll note for this demonstration that we're using pre-production software. So first off, what we're seeing here on the client side is that we've installed Eclipse and we've actually also installed the Nextdoor Remote Studio plugin for Eclipse that supports Fortran as well as other programming languages. Now on the server side, on the OpenVMS side, what we've done is we've installed the Nextware remote server and we've gone ahead and installed it, configured it, and started it and so it's all ready to go. So we'll just start Eclipse. We'll use the default workspace. And now you can go ahead and you can see the integrated development environment presents itself. So you'll notice that the Nextware plugin put in this Nextware option. So what we want to do first is we want to go ahead and establish the server that we're connecting to. So we go ahead and just click on server. Now we want to click on add. Now our OpenVMS server, its IP name is called Integrity. So, so we'll just put Integrity there. Click OK. Now we'll just double check and we can see that we've got the integrity name available. So we click on finish. Now also as a double check and just to see what's on that server, we're going to go back up here and click on services. So now what we can see is we can see the two servers that we've got defined. All we have to do is just click on integrity. Now what will happen is that the remote Studio will go ahead and connect with the remote server on the OpenVMS system. If that's successful, then we'll have a list of different services that are available. So what this establishes is that we've actually successfully connected to the OpenVMS system. And of course, we can also look to see the different languages, COBOL, BASIC, etc. Now then, on this end, on the client end, we're going to go ahead and create our project. So I just right mouse click within the package tab, go to project. Now notice we have the different languages for the remote studio plugin that we've established. This is a little bit different than the list that we saw with the server. What the server has as far as services may be different than what has been installed on your local plugin. So you might want to check that. So here we've got the Nextra Remote Fortran plugin. We want to go ahead and create a new project. Click Next. We're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it Project 1. We also want the server. You could have multiple servers. Uh, in this case we only have one defined. So I'm going to put the server name there, click on finish. Now notice that the login screen comes up. Uh, this is uh, described uh, some in the installation and configuration manual, uh, but what you've got is you've got uh, the possibility for having a different set of login credentials for each programmer that's going to be developing on this machine and so they can even each have a username and password and then the server will go ahead and it will put the different programmers projects in different subdirectories and keep them in order. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the default account of admin and nextware and I'm going to log in Now then, you can go ahead and see that we've got our Project 1 project. Now if I can go ahead and open it, and you can see we've got some configuration here. So the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to create our Fortran module. So we're going to right mouse click on the project. And then under New, we're going to click on File. And so now we're going to type in our module name. So I'm just going to call it main.4 and click on finish. 
So now you can see in this development environment, we've got a tab here for main.4 that represents the file. And you can see that main.4 is now under our project. So now it's just a matter of typing in our hello world project. So space over six, of course, for Fortran. And now you can see that I've put in a stop and end, completing the Fortran project. So now I'm going to go ahead and save the Fortran pro project. So now one of the things you need to remember though, is that this file is saved on the client side. Okay. So what we need to do though, is we need to put this on the server side so we can compile it and link it and run it. So in order to do that, we right mouse click on main.4 and we go to the Nextware Remote Fortran menu option and we go to update source code. So once you've done this, now what has happened is that this main.4 has been copied from the client over to the OpenVMS server. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to compile this module. So I basically right mouse click on the module name, go to next row remote Fortran and go to compile. Now you'll notice here in this window, what I want to do is since this main.4 is my main module, I want to go ahead and click on that and add main file. And now you can see that main.4 has been added up onto the main file section of the dialog box. Now where this comes in handy is that if you have two or three modules, uh, say, you know, one main module and two subroutines, then what you would do is you would go ahead and click on the main module, add main file, so it adds it up here, then click on those subroutines and add them to the compile list. So that way all of them will be uh, compiled at once. So now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And so now once the compilation is done, we don't have any errors here. If there were errors, the errors would appear in this window down here under compilation of project proj1. Now we're going to go ahead and link. Again, we right mouse click on the module. Go to the next row remote Fortran menu option and go to link. And again, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and click on the main object module, bring it up to the main file, click on OK. And now once that's done, again, if there were any linking errors, they would appear in this linkage of the project proj1 window. Now I'm going to go ahead and execute the program. So then all I do, click on execute. So which file am I going to execute? in this drop down menu and then if I have any input data I go ahead and put it in here and click OK and notice it printed out hello from the hello world program so as you can see uh, from this demonstration it's very easy to go ahead and create a project in this case a Fortran project um, compile it link it run it and actually run it from remote and that's part of the advantage of the Nextware remote uh, plugins that work for Eclipse is this uh, productivity increase uh, and the speed at which we're able to do this.